It is March 28th, 2019. And today we are starting on the Mountain Homestead 1 and Mountain Homestead 2 subdivision. And I could not be more excited. We've we've been working on the paperwork and getting through the county and surveying and on and on and on for for the last four or five months. And now the snow is finally starting to melt. It's it's drying up. There's a few there's a little bit of snow here in the trees, um, and and there's places where it drifted in and it's a it's going to be here a little bit longer, but. Today I'm on, on the west side of the property and we've got to build a road. Uh, it's about a thousand foot long and it's got to be about 30 foot wide. So I'm going to go along and wrap uh, ribbon around any trees that need to be removed. That way guys with the saws, guys in the machines know what to take and what to leave. I'll also be adding stakes and tape along the property line, making sure that we don't encroach into the neighbors on our west. So that's what I'm out working on right now. So anything, anything with pink ribbon is out of here. There doesn't look like there's too many trees. There's a few large cottonwoods that we got to get rid of. Um, but n maybe a few birch trees in here but nothing of real value. There's a couple of white pines and they're not very big. I am gonna cut those down and limb them and I'll run them through the sawmill and turn them into some, some posts and hold on to those. But the rest of this is, it's fair game and we'll pull it out and we've got a root rake on the excavator. We'll try to, to pull out any of the deleterious materials, any of that organic material, roots, um, branches, pine cones, that kind of stuff. Anything that would that we, we wouldn't want in our road, we're gonna go through and peel out basically the top soil and then bring in um, a bunch of material and start building up our road. Uh, but right now it's just clearing space and opening it up. What else do I wanna say? Uh, the lots are listed on the MLS and I'll leave you a link in the bottom and you can go check out the listing. Um, that may, so if you've got questions about west side, north side, east side, whatever, um, I'll try to put up a kind of a picture of the development and hopefully that'll kind of give you some orientation of where we're at and what we're working on to make more sense as things come along. Um, my hope here is to share a lot of this information. I hope that there's some, some nuggets in the road building or in the, the, the cutting the trees down or the burning the slash piles or the, the equipment we're using and, and what we're using it for that, that somebody out there at any scale, whether you're us and you're developing eight five acre lots to sell or you're building your own homestead on one acre, two acres, five acres, whatever you're doing, that you can apply some of the same stuff and, and, and take some of those nuggets and that you'll be successful in whatever development project you're doing at whatever scale you're doing it. Uh, if you have any questions, send us an email, uh, write it in the comments below, uh, whatever's, whatever's easiest for you. Um, but we would love to answer the questions and, and we would we'd love to answer your questions and get some feedback. You may have some ideas or see something that we missed. Please share it with us and that way we can all kind of learn and grow together and we'll try and share that information with everybody. Um, so let's, uh, let's go lay out and kind of flag this area so that when the excavator gets up here, whether it's me running it, or it's the guys running it, or it's the guy with the chainsaw, or whoever it is, this just kind of lays things out so everybody's on the same page. You can see there's, there is quite a bit. Um, it's pretty dry, there's a little bit of snow. Um, this is probably one of, the, one of the better places to start on the project. It's really dry in here, and so we'll start here and let 
uh, some of the other sections dry out. This tie-in ribbon is really slow. I think I'm gonna go grab some spray, print, some spray paint and paint things and that way it's a little more permanent. Because I can see somebody tipping a tree over that wasn't supposed to go over and then we're having an argument and I'm like, I didn't mark that one. And they're like, well there was a ribbon. But if there's paint and the paint's permanent, that'll minimize that argument. If you need some firewood, stop by and help yourself. Bring a trailer, we'll load you up. The easement along the, the um, west side here is 30 foot. Now, I don't need to build a 30 foot road. 16 foot maybe, 18, plenty for two cars to pass. Um, okay, maybe not easy for two cars to pass, but plenty for a road that's going to access four lots, four homes. So it's not gonna see a whole lot of traffic. And I think it's more important to leave more trees. So really, unless it's right in the middle of the roadway, um, I think we'll leave it. There's a couple of nice uh, white pines that are right on the line. I'm just gonna leave them and we'll zigzag the road a little to leave the trees. They're, they're uh, hard to replace and I hate to take them out. You can kind of see looking up the line, there's the flags right in front of us and then up there a ways, there's some, some flags. So that's kind of the line that we're on. As you can see, this tree right here is beautiful. I think what we'll do is take the road around him, push the road to the east side of the easement and that way we can leave this tree. this big guy. No trespassing. So I've got some trees marked and the next thing we'll do is get in here with saw, chainsaw and machine and start clearing this out. Um, if you're local 
and you need some firewood end of the season or you just want to haul some trees home for next year whatever uh, send me an email uh, swing by we've got tons and tons of trees I'd love to see them go to a good home uh, so send me an email and it's essentialhomesteading at gmail.com and come by and we'll, with your trailer and you're going to want a trailer and we'll load you up and enjoy